Hello guys, this is me. <laughs> Today I am doing this blue eye look with purple and pink. And for this look, I use mostly like almost everything from the Morphe 35B palette. If you guys want to see more fun tutorials and more colorful ones, let me know and I will be glad to do so. Thanks for watching. For this look, I will be mostly using the, the Morphe 35B palette. No, sorry, 35B palette. And it looks like this. So I'll be using that. Um, and I'm going to start, first start off with a transition color. For the transition, I'll be taking this color right here. And I'm going to be applying this on um, my crease. And I'm starting off with this orangey color first because I want to add like a pink transition. Oh, and I um, primed my eyelid with, with the Dremel transferring powder and my Maybelline Lee Femi concealer. Just because this Morphe palette does not have that shade of pink I'm looking for, I am using this Alice Through Looking Glass palette and I'm using um, this pink shade right here. And I'm taking that with a Morphe E28 brush and it's very fluffy and it has long bristles. And I'll be applying that right above that transition color. Just keep blending that pink shade on top of the orange to make the color a nice transition. Now with this, um, ooh, with the same brush, I'm taking the really um, neon electric pink in here. I don't know how to describe this color. This color, and I'll be and I'll be placing this on top of that pink too. I want to start building the color. And with that same transition brush, with no product, I'll be using this to blend out the edges. Now I'm taking a Morphe E17 brush and it's more dense and the and the bristles are way smaller now. Um, that way I can be more precise with the color I'm going to use right now. I'm taking a purple and I'm taking this one right here. And I'm going to be placing this on the outer V. And blending this purple will create more depth now that the pink is below it. Don't be um, too harsh with it, just blend with a really soft hand. And don't go in at once with a lot of product. You want to apply it a little bit at a time so that the purple can blend out better and it's more easier. With the same E28 brush, with no product on it, I am going to blend out the edges between the purple and the pink. And now with the purple shade below it, it's kind of like purpley blue. I'll be applying the smallest amount on the very, very outer part of it. So if you didn't see my last video, I showed a trick where you use like a black um, base before adding a pop of color and it makes that color stand out. And for that, I am using the NYX Jumbo Pencil. Now you get that blue and you just like start dabbing it on first. See where I applied the black, that color is really popping out. So that's what I'm gonna do for my eye. I'm going to kind of do like I'm gonna cut it out. Not really, not really a cut crease, but I'm going to carve out my eyelid and apply this black bean jumbo pencil. And like I said, it'll really help the blue pop out. So first, I'm just going to do it really sloppy. With a smaller detail brush, I'll be applying the jumbo pencil for exact precision. And now I'm taking a flat brush 
and I'm taking that shade of blue from the Morphe palette. And before swiping the eyeshadow, I'm first dabbing it on there. Back in with those smaller brushes, I'll be blending out my edges. So right now what I'm trying to do is trying to blend out where that blue and that purple intersect. I'm just going back in with the other brushes that I used before and I'm just blending out all those edges and applying a little bit more color if I need to. So, so far this is how my eye looks. So for my eyeliner, just in case some of y'all like it, you know, I'm going to lay my eye out. Liner. This is how I do mine. So I use my NYC liquid eyeliner, of course, in the color 887. And the brush looks like this. And I am just going to start off by like drawing like a straight line. Well, they have no line, but you know what I mean. Oh, that was kind of bad. Oh, well. And then I'm just going to start collecting it to my eyelid. Quick trick. What I used to do is I used to just draw like a really ugly, ugly blocked out triangle and then I'll just start getting makeup remover and start wiping it away until I got a sharp line. First, I just took away all this excess eyeshadow I have. And now I just start cutting away what I want. So right now for lashes, I am taking the Huda Beauty lashes in the style Jade. And mine are so torn up because I've used them so many times. Okay, so I applied just one coat of mascara. And now I'm taking the House of Lashes eyelash adhesive and applying it on my lashes. Just one thin layer and that should do the trick. I know, I look so bright right now. I'm sorry. Let me just... Open the door open, you know. Okay. To finish up my eyeballs, I'm gonna be using that same like electric neon pink I used earlier, and I'm gonna be placing that on my lower lash line. Okay, now I'm applying that same purple I've been using. And you, you really want to just keep blending in. Like first I applied that pink again, like a transition color. And now I'm going to take this more darker color. And I'm going to be applying it with like a flat brush. And I'm going to apply it like this so that this thinner part is on my eye. And I can just really um, start on my, my lower lash line. For my inner corner, I'm using Royal Flush from the Alistair Looking Glass Palette. And then I'm applying mascara on my bottom and lower lashes. And once this dries, I am going to be putting black eyeliner on top of the lash line because the glue or the makeup might have stuck on there or something. But yeah, I just applied some lip gloss after this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.